Hello guys and uh, welcome to a crazy episode um, starring myself and Petit Adele. Uh, in the last episode, or in the end of the last episode, if you watched the last video, this happened. Yes, uh, I unofficially broke my finger, unofficially because I've not been to get it checked out. Broken my finger because I'm pretty sure I heard it snap, crack, and felt it, and I've uh, broken the same finger on oh, that finger many, many, many years ago. It's kind of bruised and yucky and feeling very sore and swollen, and so I'm just immobilising it with the trouser, finger trousers, as I said in the last one, and I've just been staying away from skin for a few days. I did that injury on Friday, we're now on Tuesday, so it's not been too bad, uh, it's not been the worst, it's been better than when I broke my hand, when I broke my hand that was extremely annoying, I couldn't grab onto anything. Pushing the wheelchair has been kind of annoying because like, but I'm getting there slowly. At the moment we're up to a 90, shout out everybody who's subscribed, we're up to 90 on the subscription count so there's a big on my hand. Uh, we're going to make it to 100 guys, I don't know if I can do the, the, the uh, special challenge I wanted to do at exactly 100 because I might have to wait for this to heal first but I promise you guys, I promise you I'll make it up to you and you'll get something awesome out of it. So, so moving on to today, today uh, I've got an awesome video for you. Uh, we're going to be doing some clothing customization. So um, today we're going to take Here we've got a very nice like, skateboards long sleeve in white which seemed like a fantastic idea and when I saw it for sale uh, I thought yes I want to make that top mine. However white is not a good colour for me. I love my long sleeves but white is such a colour that I should not wear. Because it's just a shame because it's such a cool top. So there we are and you've got the big logo on the back there as well. Uh, Sex Skateboards is a UK brand. I'll uh, quick link them down there below if you've not heard them before guys. Really sick, uh, really sick uh, brand, and they have some very good skaters on their team. So uh, shout out UK hashtag UK skateboarding, uh, hashtag select skateboards. Go give them a follow, guys. Really awesome. So as you can see, here's one I've made before. This is a Etnies three quarter sleeve, uh, which was also lovely and also white and also irritatingly white. Kept getting it dirty. So that's the front, back. There isn't any logo, but I think you can see the tie-dye much better on the back there, it's a really sick uh, spiral design coming out of it. Uh, I really like the spiral design, I think it's just like a classy all-time uh, favourite of mine in the world of tie-dye. And I just love the mix of colours and stuff there as well. I thought today we're going to keep it pretty simple with this one. Uh, I've actually uh, narrowed it down to two dyes, Flamingo Pink and Intense Black. Uh, I'm going to mix these up in a minute. I'm not going to give you specific instructions on how to mix dye up because it depends what you're using. I am using these Dylon ones. Um, you can also get like liquid ones in a bottle and stuff. Um, using an applicator bottle or something is probably the best idea because that gives you the most control over where you're putting your dye. Yes, I have done this a few times, you might have guessed. Uh, but yeah, like uh, tie dye is uh, pretty cool. I'm so, so stoked to see it's come back in the world because it is awesome. And I love the imperfection you get from it and the excitement of not knowing how it's all going to turn out. It's really exciting. I'd just like to quickly show you another one of my... Um, there we are. Let's pop that one over there. This is also a... This is a long sleeve. Um, the raglan design as they call them, isn't it? It's one of my long billabong ones. It was actually my other half. She never liked it, so I stole it. <laughs> uh, that's the front side and then that's the back side. Again, on this one, the back is looking out like loads better. There's a similar design, I'm thinking it's pretty much the same colours because I was just like trying to get through the same colours and use them up. So I did everything in the same colours that day. It's a shame because I have been wearing these for like a year so the dye isn't probably as vibrant as it was. But like uh, I would like the spiral design in the centre to show up a bit more. Like on the back you can see it better. So hopefully if we do this right today we're going to get it good. We're going to get a nice sick spiral design in the flamingo pink and the intense black on the set of skateboards white long sleeve. So throwing the long sleeves aside and the tie dye, um, other in, other stuff you're going to need for your tie dyeing guys. I would definitely recommend some gloves. I've got some. These are just like sterile gloves. Um, I've also got a bag here to shove over my hat and an elastic band to shove over. You could always do that if you haven't got gloves, guys. Is just get like a food bag like that and tie it on your hands. If dye, if dye gets on your hands, it will stay there for a long time. I can promise you. 
I've also got a big bag of elastic bands here and uh, sometimes depending on what design you can do uh, if you're just going for the simple ring designs um, which I might actually do with a few on the arms actually uh, you can actually put like stones or pebbles like wash them first so they're clean so you don't get mud on the clothes but you can put them in cool right throwing all that stuff to one side and uh, we've also got um, so you might be asking my zoo york long sleeve so again a raglan design why on earth what on earth are we going to do with this you can't tie dye this well no you can't um i forgot to mention if you're tie dyeing you need the color to be quite pale for to show up ideally white and also certain types of fabric will and won't dye uh natural fibers dye best like cottons and stuff i believe um i will see if i can leave a link below to a website that's quite good for suggesting such things uh just give you an idea what type of things you can and can't dye because not everything the dye won't hold it even if it is white uh it looks if it's got like more polyester and it and acrylic those type of things in it the more plastic fibers in it essentially the dye doesn't really hold the same i've pre-prepared a uh what's the name a a tarp a piece of it's plastic sort of i think it's a wrapper from something i'll show you now um put this down uh not quite on the floor i put it actually raised so i don't have to like crawl around all over the floor i've got some clothes on that i don't mind getting a bit of dye on or whatever you uh i've got my gloves uh the wind keeps threatening to blow that away um, we need to pre-soak our garments so guys if it's a brand new one you need to wash it but yeah definitely make sure it's wet so we're gonna first of all we're gonna soak that long sleeve in some water in the house uh, and come back and then I'm gonna lay it out here on our uh, piece of uh, plastic packaging and yeah I'll show you now guys so you can see what I mean there you go guys so that's just literally a piece of plastic packaging down uh, it's like cover in there all right guys I uh, will be back in just a few minutes. Let's see my hand over here. Peace goes. Back. Uh, I've mixed my dyes. I have soaked my long sleeve in some warm water and I've squeezed it off. I've now laid it out. Hopefully, there it is laid there. I'm going to get some my gloves on now and be back in just a minute. So I'll turn. Ta da! Plastic bag hand. Actual glove hand. Gloves and bags on hand. Let's uh, get the die and let's show you how to do a spiral die on the thing. Insert cheesy phrase here. Oh, you got this. That's my one, of course. Don't forget, guys. We've got this. Boom. Okay, guys. So, we've got the shirt down. What we're going to do is you want to pinch it about in the middle. What I'm going to do for this is I'm just going to bring that down a little bit to see a bit easier where we're at. Uh, the sleeves are going to stay out of this for a minute and we're going to figure them out along the way but I'm just going to take it with my left hand take it roughly in the middle of the shirt and I'm going to pinch it in a circular fashion so what you're going to do is start bringing it in like that you can take your other hand and use that to bring the other sides in like so just keep spinning it round and sleeves as well, sleeves along the way um, if you wanted to you could do something different with the sleeves uh, you can do like rings and stuff in fact you might actually do that so we'll do the middle bit as a spiral and the outer bit might be quite interesting. See how that turns out. Now, you go on and take your elastic bands and what we're going to try and do is we're trying to elastic band it. I'm going to use one of these big ones. Elastic band it. <laughs> and we're just going to segment it off. So if we start going across like this way, horizontally to start with. So we're actually elastic banding it all together like that. So picture you're cutting a pizza or a pie, or a pizza pie, <laughs> whichever one you like. Um, we're going to go across horizontally this way. Just gonna... <laughs> this sort of holds it together while we're doing all our dyeing and bits and bobs because we're going to have to turn it over both sides. Uh, it will hold the spiral in place, essentially. And, then, and that should conclude the holding together of that bit. Once we get into the dyeing bit, I'm going to show you there are a couple of ways we can, we can do it and then we'll have to decide which way we're going to do it. Now, I'm also going to take the sleeves at this point and we're going to get an elastic band, this nice chunky one here, and we're going to segment it off like this. So we'll start with one, one at the top like this. I'll show you one more uh, to give you the idea and then we'll come back when the whole lot's done. Um, here we are, pick another chunky type elastic band. I'm looking for smaller ones so I don't have to do quite as many like Boobly Ferkins with them, but yeah, like. Okay. 
So just hold on one second guys. I was talking to you earlier about uh, using rocks or pebbles. Uh, just give me one second to find a clean one. And I'll show you another technique you can, you can do. Still recording. So I couldn't find a big rock at first. Clear or not. Ow. Just got knelt over everything. We've got some little rocks. So this would be so much easier if we were. Depends. You can do it from both sides if you want or just from the one side. But what we're going to do is essentially take the fabric put it on the inside in this case I think. We'll take a few rocks just to make it the size of like a small rock. We're going to put them together with one hand. So hold them all together in your hand. Now whatever you want the ring to be, that's where we're going to sort of try and segment off as it were. So, and then we get another elastic band around it like that. So, I'm going to do a few more like that, and I'm going to do the other sleeve, and I'm going to come back when they're all done. Ta da! Yeah? Three, two, one. Um, we've got our die mixed up now, as I said earlier, you want to follow the directions specifically for each die. I'm using like a dial on hand die, and I'm mixing them in these parts. I almost forgot to say, also, you will need to add table salt to, uh, it, again, it'll tell you how much to add in. Uh, that stops the dye from basically bleeding out in the wash. If you don't put the salt in, then most of the dye will come out when it gets wet. So if it rains and you're wearing it, you will turn multicolors. So don't forget, guys, put table salt in or else. So roll on. Now, as I said, there are different, many different ways you can start. Do a circle in the middle, and then like there, there. What I think I'm going to do this one to keep it simple. I'm just going to segment it and do like every other. I'll turn it around this way like this. That should stop the dye from actually getting it to them. Um, don't forget, we're going to have to do both sides as well. So here we are. We're going to go with the black first. So we're going to start with our first segment. Just going to pour a bit on like so. There we are. And so be careful, it will start to absorb quite quickly into the surrounding surrounding fabric. So, And it will start to absorb over time. So you want to leave if you can a bit of a gap. Well, it's not like ideal how I did it there. So let's try and put a bit more on. Now, if you're doing this, it could be a good idea to do multiple tops at the same time. I haven't got any other ones that you're doing right now. I'm not a massive collector of white tops, so I'm just making sure that the excess there is dribbling away and not gathering underneath our stuff. We've got one more segment left to do here. I'm just going to try and do that one now. Okay, so we'll leave that because remember, as I said, guys, it will soak in. So I'm going to flip that over now, super carefully, uh, keeping the sleeves out of the way if we can. So. Again, just making sure the dye has not gathered too much underneath. That was quite a, a reason to take it back. It doesn't really matter because I think the whole joy in tie dye is that it turns out different every time and like little accidents turn into cool stuff. So don't be too stressed, I really wouldn't. There we go guys, so we've done the body of it, we're going to take the sleeves now, I'm just going to move them to the side here, and I reckon we'll segment that off into black. Again, if there's some patches of white, don't panic. Uh, the dye does need room to absorb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of that pile now, bring it up here, 
let those bits drain away, get rid of my gloves, and then we're going to find somewhere dry to put this. All right, guys, so I managed to take my gloves off and get my hands clean, but I can't be able to focus now. Uh, it's raining, whether it be a shower or actual rain, I don't know. But either way, uh, I've managed to get it under cover underneath this chair here. It's actually out of the way for now. And uh, I think we're going to retreat inside and see what happens for a minute, have a coffee or two, and then we're going to come back. All right, guys, so the dye has been on for an hour and a bit now. Um, I'm not actually not sure really how long it's meant to be on for, but I leave it for like about an hour on me anyway. We're at my favourite part, which is the part where we take that we rinse it out and take the elastic bands off. I think I want to rinse it first, then the elastic bands, and I'm going to do mine over the kitchen. So then, kind of don't want to get my camera wet and all that stuff. Plus, I think it's far more exciting if we do like the reveal like, afterwards. So uh, I'm going to do a reveal afterwards, and uh, yeah, after I've dried it, I put it through the machine and everything, and you're going to see what it comes out like. And I'm so so excited. Very excited. I don't know if that's it, focus on me or not, but yeah, like this has been. Uh, it's been fun, I've been meaning to do this tie dye for like quite some time so it's actually quite fun to actually get around to doing it and actually having a bit of fun and doing it and uh, doing a bit of customization is always fun in my book so anyway uh, I'm gonna go back inside for a minute and uh, join you back when we've got this thing rinsed, de-elastic banded, de-stoned, you want to take all that out and then I will dry it and then hopefully we'll have something awesome to show you, I can't wait guys, join us back in just a few, it's gonna be like boom to So <laughs> just another quick interjection, I forgot to tell you guys, if we get to 100 subscribers, that means I get to set up my new board, which is waiting inside as we've been skating this one. This was actually my winter rain deck. This started off as my summer spring deck and then it's become my freestyle deck. So they will not be replacing my freestyle deck. The next deck I've got, ooh, question mark, it's quite exciting. What will it be? Because this is also Route 1. Bear in mind, the next brand is not Route 1. Hmm, but it does also begin with R. So comment below if you can guess what my next setup uh, board will be. It, the clue is it begins with the letter R and it's not Route 1. Price for somebody who can. Yeah, I will throw out some random stickers for you if you can guess. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, so I've got the 825 and the 8. So my next deck is actually an 8125. So I'm hoping that will strike the balance right in the middle. Anyway, so thank you very much, guys. But yeah, comment below. I'd love to know what board size do you ride. Do you ride a bigger board? Do you ride a smaller board? I'd love to know. What do you prefer? Do you like a popsicle shape? Or do you prefer a shaped board? I don't know. I've got one shaped board. That's my cruiser board slash probably my pool setup. It's my first board I've had since I've been um, disabled and come back to skateboarding. Uh, maybe one day it'd be cool to do a video about all my uh, boards because I've got a few. I've only been skating for like 18 months but I've made a few uh, board collections in that time so yeah I'd love to show you what I've comment below guys as if you remember the next board I have got set up it begins with the letter R what's it going to be guys it's not route one but the clue is it begins with the letter R comment below the person who answers correctly I will throw something cool your way a little freebie a little sticker pack or something I will sort you out don't worry but literally super stoked guys need to get to 100 subs though so I can set up that new deck so come on guys if you have not already subscribe it's completely free if you don't want to that's cool too but if you know someone else who might want to watch these type of crazy videos then uh, then send them my way and get them to subscribe too um, 
and we can be one great big happy family where we watch weird people like me do skateboarding with one leg. But yeah, thank you very much guys and back to the video. So I really hope you enjoyed uh, that uh, clip there. It uh, still took me a couple of days to make, uh, just due to the time uh, it took to dry. And yesterday afternoon, it turned into a really wet afternoon, so I wanted to hang it out on the line, couldn't. Da, 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 da. But yeah, I am super stoked with how this one's turned out. I just really, really like this one. It's a really, really sick design. Um, I'm glad I stuck to two colours as well. So uh, that's not like a comprehensive tutorial. Uh, I might give you some links down below to some tutorials which I found helpful, especially if you're doing the spiral design. There are so many other different tie-dye variants that you can go with. This is just the one I went with. You can do more colours than this. There's, there's loads of different things. But yeah, like this long sleeve has turned out really well and I'm really pleased. It's hidden like pretty much most of the dirt and stains that were here on it before. And uh, yeah, I'm super chuffed with how it turned out. And the best bit still is that the logo, as you can see because it's printed, is still shown through. I'm really pleased with that. I hope uh, sex skateboards are pleased with it too because I'm only really trying to do justice to a super long sleeve which I wanted to wear and I just didn't want to get dirty all the time. So if, you're, if you've got a pale coloured top or like a white one, long sleeve, whatever you, or even trousers, if they're the right material, check first. I will give a link down below to a sort of chart that gives you a good idea about what you can and can't dye, uh, what what fibres will and won't dye. As a rule, mostly speaking, man-made man fibres don't dye or don't take dye well, and the natural fibres like cotton and stuff do. Uh, I'm super stoked that you guys could join me for this video. Also, thank you so much everybody who stopped by. We are now up to 90 subscribers. I am so, 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 so close to getting to 100 subscribers. It's untrue. I promised you when we get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to do 100 something as a challenge. Uh, if we get there, like before the end of July, which was my goal, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it at the moment, we're going to see how many old fingers are, but whatever happens, I, when we get to 100 subscribers, um, I'm going to do something awesome for you guys to say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart and my skateboard and my trucks. And my <laughs> but no, seriously guys, thank you so much for stopping by, uh, all the comments, likes and subscribes are greatly appreciated, uh, so I've just been having a bit of a rough time with my body at the moment, and then go ahead and break my finger. It didn't really make things any easier, that's for sure. Um, but hopefully, yeah, hopefully in the next few days, weeks, whatever, you, things are going to get a bit easier with this. Um, I have broken my finger and my hand quite a few times on both hands now, so I'm like a semi-professional on it. Plus, also, when you do everything with your hands, so like skateboarding, like using your fingers and stuff, uh, the wheelchair, using my fingers, just literally moving around, everything, crutches, holding my fingers, that, you know, that's the danger. So if you injure your hand, fingers, wrist, arms, whatever you, it can, if you're not careful, completely immobilise you. When, you. when I broke my hand in December, I actually have found the picture. Um, that was actually on that hand. It really, really was miserable because like, I couldn't grab at all, so I couldn't push the wheelchair. So I ended up like, pushing around everywhere with my leg underneath and giving myself bursitis in my kneecap. So yeah, word of warning, like if, you're, uh, if, you, if you need your arms for everything like I do, be, be careful. I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things you can't tell what's going to happen or whatever. You, and I think someone did tell me once, like one of the orthopaedic doctors said my fingers are more likely to fracture because they hyperextend. So when I straighten them out, they like curl back slightly. So that it means they're more likely to fracture and have like hand-based injuries. But yeah, uh, I've got my finger trousers on, keeping them good. And uh, yeah, things are rolling around well otherwise. But also, I would hope if you guys, um, if you uh, if you fancy supporting my channel, um, I've got a link to buy me a coffee below, and just a fancy little animation here as well, uh, where you can donate. Uh, at the moment, my big challenge is to get to a hundred pounds or thereabouts, uh, so I can look at getting myself some better audio, some wireless audio, and and uh, yeah, do some better production for you guys. I don't know if you're aware, but I am the only person behind this channel. I don't get any like help from anybody else. Like I'm talking about physical help, uh, you know. So I do all the filming, uh, skating, and editing, and everything. All the social, everything I do myself, basically. So uh, you know, it's a lot of work uh, on top of my already busy health schedule because my health does take a lot for me. But I really enjoy doing the video editing, and I would love to do better and better videos. So hopefully, if you've got a spare couple of pennies, 
you're more than welcome to stop by and buy me a coffee uh, from the bottom of my heart now. I say muchas gracias, uh, and as we say in Welsh, diolchamawr. But if you haven't, that's okay. Don't worry. There's one thing you can do. It's totally for free, uh, and that's subscribing, smashing the like button, and uh, dropping a comment and let me know what do you think. Do you think you'll do a, do a uh, custom tie dye? Well, and to be honest, I think tie dye is really awesome. It's a great way of transforming maybe like an old, tired, dirty, or indeed boring item of clothing into something pretty pretty cool and uh, yeah uh, you know color wise you can go for anything you want um, I'll maybe show some examples of some pretty cool color patterns like now uh, uh, you know I'll also put some links below to some awesome a uh, couple of awesome tie dye tutorials and yes epidemic sound don't forget guys epidemic sound also a referral link down below for all your music and sound effect needs are you a video producer are you a youtuber uh you know and you're making videos uh you need great um music as for your soundtracks then you need to look no further than epidemic sound i've got a link down below these guys have got thousands of tracks i use them in all my videos sound effects music in so many different genres and personal recommendations for you uh, i would thoroughly recommend it they do a few different plans but guys yeah check them out epidemic sound they are absolutely fantastic and all the music you hear in my videos is courtesy of them um, make sure you've got epidemic sound and then you've got your copy music copyright covered because there's nothing worse than putting a soundtrack over your video and then finding out you've got a copyright claim so yeah get on it epidemic sound they're the guys royalty free music sound effects that's the place to go that's kind of really shit but anyway <laughs> check out epidemic sound link below Thank you very much guys. Alright, so that's the end of the video for today. Uh, super hope you enjoyed this little bit of a fun video today. I've uh, been giving my finger a uh, rest so that we haven't been doing too much skating and hopefully next week we will have a skating type video with much more skating in it for you. And until then, thank you very much for watching. Um, thank you everybody for staying by and subscribing if you've got this far in the video also i'd love to say thank you i do really appreciate when people make it this far to the end uh and the the, the effort i put in you know it's really really nice to know that some people make it to the end and if you have one of those people thank you very much i do appreciate it um let me know comment below do you plan to have a go at doing your own tie-dye or have you done one below i'd love to know also i'm going to put some photos of this uh this and my other top on my um instagram if you also haven't checked that out my instagram is at amputee.adele again link down below uh you can find me on there and i try to post um i try to update you regularly as what's going on in my schedule until we get to a thousand subscribers and once we get to a thousand subscribers i can then post on here and then let you know guys what's going on thank you very much for watching thank you i will see you in the next video um don't forget everybody skate more worry less or worry less skate more and everybody you've got this i've got a new saying as well guys you ready one like, one love. Peace, fam. Happy